So I picked this thing up in December of 2020, December of last year. Um, I was looking for a uh, four-wheel drive pickup that could pull a trailer. And uh, a friend turned me out of this one. It was in Ohio. And I bought it pretty much sight unseen, aside from a few pictures that were sent. And it looked good. And started it and ran it. It sounded good. And uh, did the deal and had it sent here to Illinois. And when it arrived, it was a bit sick. Um, and uh, trailer wiring wasn't done very well. And uh, we ended up putting in... Down here. Oops. New socket, if you can see it under there and uh, that was already there and uh, it's a uh, you know good truck there's no rust on it anywhere uh, from what I could tell it's never been hit the uh, Carfax data sheet looked good but um, right out of the gate uh, there were a couple issues one of them was uh, whoever put the thermostat in it on its last service installed it backwards so you'd start the thing and it would warm up and the needle would peg because the wrong side of the thermostat was heating up and once it finally opened then you know you, you were fine but after two cycles of that and said, well there's something wrong and it's kind of a big job to get the thermostat on this thing and we end up getting it getting in there and confirm the thermostat was installed backwards uh, and that was an easy fix and it came with the uh, the bed cap on it which lifts up change the hydraulic cylinders on it so it actually stays up on its own but mostly what I wanted it for was to become the winter car to get through snow and we had kind of a nasty winter and it went through a couple feet of snow three feet of snow real easy and mostly because of these all-terrain tires. It's always in the tires. I was seeing people with uh, street tires on these things and they were getting stuck. Uh, but not this one. Four-wheel drive works well. High and low range works well. And just powered through it. <clears throat> and the thing, one of the things I liked that the previous owner did was he debadged it. There's no badging on this thing. I like clean looks on it. Cars and trucks and, you know, there's nothing on it. You know, except for the pinstriping. Kind of a nice touch, but you know, in the uh, bull bar out front. Hope I don't need to use that. But when I was finally doing the math last night, the last couple days, and uh, <clears throat> get an idea of uh, GVWR in this is 6,400 pounds, and I had no idea what the weight was until I went over to a cat scale and had it weighed and it came in at 5420 and that was with me in it and a little more than a half a tank of fuel so add a hundred pounds to get the fuel up top and with me in it it's going to be almost a thousand pounds which makes perfect sense because it's a half ton truck and half of a ton is a thousand pounds so that's what i can put in this thing and trailer weight or tongue weight of a trailer it shouldn't go over a thousand pounds and I think I might be able to pull that off the interior is real nice oops there's my glass cleaner just looking for that have the trailer brake uh, controller installed and you know the carpet's in real good shape and the miles were low and that was uh, that was a deciding factor for me you can see it, it's got just over 56,000 miles, and based on what the Carfax report said, it's accurate. Dash is in good shape, interior is clean, and I fit. There's a couple of goofy things on that seat going on, but for the most part, she does real good now. So I had a U-Haul trailer, a car trailer on it a couple of weeks ago, and it pulled that with ease, and that was only a couple thousand pounds. So maybe we'll 
we'll get that thing on it and see how she performs. But uh, yeah, there's no rust anywhere on this thing. Whoever whoever owned it took really good care of it, except for the thermostat being installed upside down. But it's a nice rig, 360 V8 fuel injected and starts right up. I like it. So there's really not much left to do on this thing. Um, except to see how she does with a trailer with a car on it. And I think she'll do pretty well. But even though U-Haul trailers are notoriously heavy, an aluminum trailer would save me at least 500 pounds. So, with that being said, we'll find something else to work on.